the earth in the solar system the night when one side of the moon is completely visible from the earth is called a full moon night or purnima a night without a moon or a no moon night is called a new moon night in hindi a new moon night is called amavasya the night sky is full of innumerable twinkling bodies these bodies are called stars they are very big and hot celestial bodies made up of gases and emit large amounts of heat and light stars closer to earth appear brighter the sun is the star closest to us clusters of billions of stars along with dust and gas are bound together by gravity such clusters of stars are called galaxies millions of galaxies together make up our universe some stars in ancient times did not twinkle and just glowed steadily these celestial bodies are called the wandering stars today we recognize these bodies as planets the sun the moon and all those objects shining in the night sky are called celestial bodies they have their own heat and light which they emit in large amounts these celestial bodies are called stars while watching the night sky you may notice various patterns formed by different groups of stars these are called constellations one of the most easily recognizable constellation is the small bear or saptarishi sapta 7 rishi sages the sun and the celestial bodies that revolve around it form the solar system it comprises large number of bodies like planets their moons comets asteroids meteorites meteors and meteorites these objects are held together in the solar system due to sun's gravitational pull the sun is a major source of heat and light for all the planets in the solar system planets reflect sunlight that is incident on them they have no light of their own so they don't twinkle like the stars planets have definite paths called orbits in which they revolve around the sun the time taken by a planet to complete one full revolution around the sun is called its period of revolution the time taken by a planet to rotate a full 360 degrees on its axis is called its period of rotation in the order of their increasing distance from the sun the planets are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune once considered as the farthest planet the lost its status of being a planet and is now treated as a dwarf planet the sun is the star closest to the earth which is at a distance of 8 light minutes from the earth it is a huge ball of gases mainly hydrogen the nuclear fusion reactions that take place in the sun converting hydrogen gas into a helium gas gives out tremendous amount of energy in the form of heat and light which is responsible for the brightness of the sun the sun is so huge that nearly a million earths can be enclosed in it mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system and is the closest to the sun it takes about 88 days to complete one revolution around the sun it has no satellite of its own venus is the second closest planet to the sun it takes about 225 days to complete one revolution around the sun it has no satellites or moons venus rotates from east to west it is the brightest planet in the night sky it appears in the eastern sky before sunrise and in the western sky after sunset for this reason venus is called a morning star 
or an evening star, although it is not a star. Earth is the only planet on which life is known to exist. It takes 365.25 days for the Earth to complete one revolution around the Sun. It takes 24 hours to complete one rotation about its axis. The tilt of the Earth's axis is responsible for the change of seasons on the Earth. There is a thin blanket of air surrounding the Earth called atmosphere. The right temperature range, the presence of water and suitable atmosphere and the blanket of ozone support life on Earth. Earth has only one natural satellite, that is our moon. The red planet Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos. The Martian soil contains large amount of iron oxide which gives the reddish appearance to the planet. Mars completes one revolution around the Sun in about 687 days. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter has four large moons called Io, Europa, Callisto and Ganymede and many small moons. It rotates the fastest among all planets. It has the famous great red spot which is a great hurricane on Jupiter. It has faint rings around it. Jupiter can be seen in the sky easily as it appears quite bright. Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system after Jupiter. It appears yellowish in color. The rings of Saturn are made of ice particles and dust. Saturn is the only planet that is lighter than water. Saturn has many moons and the largest of them is called Titan. Uranus is the coldest planet. Like Venus, Uranus also rotates from east to west. It has a highly tilted rotational axis so that in its orbital motion it appears to roll on its side. Neptune was discovered through mathematical calculations. It has two known satellites. It has a ring system too. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are called the inner planets. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are called the outer planets. The outer planets have several moons and a system of rings. The inner planets are smaller and denser than the outer planets. The outer planets are colder than the inner planets as they are farther away from the sun.